All right, I'm going to pull these panels, stick this panel up here, and it's 43 by 23 across. I'm going to mark off 43 here. 23 is just about perfect. It covers these three ridges almost exactly. Well, not exactly, but so that's 43. So what say I put 12 inches, 43. Okay, that's. 12 inches, 12 inches, that's about 3 or 4 inches. Alright, let's see if we can get this going. I don't know how much of this VHB tape I've got. I don't want to burn it all. And I don't know if it improves the adhesive ability any. So I want to say go 12 inches here. Skip. And maybe 12 inches here. So. If I make it 24 inches per instead of 12. Uh, I get front and rear and I'll make up the rest with that Eternabon tape. So that's a foot. 12 here. And 12 here. Alright, let's see how we can do this. Uh, of course, did I bring any scissors? No, I didn't bring any scissors, did I? Eh. Let's see if this, if I can tear it correctly. Not like that, okay? Never do things the easy way. Mit more than 12 inches. Okay. Not here. Not here. Good. This one. Let's do this. One. Scissors. There's a little intermission between the previous video and this video because my camera died. So basically what I'm doing now is putting some of this Eternabond tape up there on the front edge. I've currently got, and I'll show you in a second, this set down with uh, basically a 3M UHB tape. So what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to 
going to place this down on the front edge because I have to set it on top of these ribs I'm not as confident as I would be if I was flat what I decided to do was to put some of this Eterna Bond tape in there just to make it a little bit more aerodynamic in front and by doing that what I am also doing is securing it a little better so I'm now trying to get between these ribs to make sure that that air can't get underneath it so if I'm going down the road aerodynamics are going to be going over and pushing it down instead of popping it up from underneath so I'm just just for safety sake I'm going to do that and this is I got it up there uh, I have not done the wiring yet and that's my next step right now I'm trying to determine where I need to drill because I'm doing this outside in the apartment complex I'm not going to drill from the outside in like I should I got to drill I got to drill from the inside out so but I just got to estimate that correctly or I'm going to drill either through my panels or drill too far back so all right that's the first piece let me go get the other piece and go around the other side there that one was better I might do the sides and the front later because I have plenty of this eternal bond tape but that's a good start <sighs> now I've got to decide where I'm going to drill this hole here would be perfect if I could determine where there where here was uh, from the inside because look, I don't I don't want to generate a lot of noise here it might make my neighbors unhappy so I need to figure out where this is. So. Hadn't planned to do that, but I think I will go ahead and do that edge. I think it's about 43 inches. At that edge. Now let's see if we can get that. A big, that's a lot of tape. It's over a yard. As if you didn't know that. Oh, shit. That was good. around the other side there we go now all I've got to do is to figure out now how to wire this thing up and I think I have got a place to drill, so, okay, it's got to be at the very edge, almost, hmm. all right, 